Hi guys, we're going to continue our talk on comparing three digit numbers. You need to really pay close attention because you're getting ready to do your independent practice where you will not have any guidance from the teacher. So let's get into it. So Yin packs 250 oranges in a box. Jia packs 25 bags of oranges. She puts 10 oranges in each bag. Who packs more? So here it shows that 25 bags with 10 in each. So here, I just wrote it out so we can see it because here it just gives us the answer. But if we didn't know that, we can write out 10 bags. So these represent bags. I meant 25 bags. This represents bags. And in each one, we have 10. Now we can just go down and count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 80, 90, 200. Sorry, I'm missing some bags. Two hundred and ten, two hundred and twenty, two hundred and thirty, two hundred and forty, two hundred and fifty. And just so we can check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. So twenty five bags with ten in them still gives us two hundred and fifty. Two hundred fifty oranges, two hundred and fifty in bags. 250 in a box. 250 equals 250. So the sentence would read, they each pack 250 oranges. Neither person packs more than the other. Okay, let's look at question number 13. Which two players have the greatest scores? Write the number of hundreds and tens in the table. Okay, so let's look here. Eden has no hundreds, and he has nine tens. Santeria has two hundreds and three tens. Paul has two hundred and one ten, and Chan has two hundred and three tens. So it says, which player has the greatest number? Well, we can already see right off the bat that it's going to be out of Sar Sar Sarita and Chan. So we could see, much like our, our problem from the other page, both of these numbers have the same number in the hundreds and the tens place. Where do we look next? That's right, we look at the hundreds place. So we see that she has a three while he has a six. So that is going to show us that 233 is less than 236. So Chen has the greatest score, okay? Bella biked 120 Two miles. Aria biked 126 miles. Who biked the fewer miles? So let's show our work, okay? So it says we have the, the two numbers as 122 and 126. Let's do our table. So 
for each one of these numbers. I'm going to make a table. Hundreds, tens, and ones. So what number do they both have in the hundreds place? You know, I don't know why I made this a number into the thousands. And on this clerk. So we have a one in both of those spaces. Then we have a two in both of the ten places. Where do we look next? We look at the ones. We have a two here and we have a six here. And we know that this is Ariel and this is Bella. So which one of them bikes the fewer miles? Fewer. So we know that Bella 122 is less than Ariel who had 126. So Bella biked the fewer miles. Okay? Take out a piece of paper. Make sure you're writing this stuff down. Make sure you're pressing pause when you need to. I don't know if I gave you time on the other one. I'll go back. This says hundreds, tens, and ones. I made myself a little chart here. Then we have 122. Then we have 126. And we know that Bella is less because it's 122. And Ariel's is greater because it's 126. So we'll just write that sentence in there. And I'm going to turn back to the previous page. And I'm going to invite you to press pause so you can write this down. Now, I'm going to invite you to press pause so you can write this down. Okay, I'm going to move on. Jill and Iman each write a three-digit number. Jill's number is 305. Iman's number is 300 and 510. Which number sentence compares their numbers correctly? So first, let's write out what Iman's number is, okay? So we know that Jill has 305, but Iman has Three hundreds and five tens is fifty. So he has three fifty, she has three oh five. So here we have A. Three oh five is less than three oh five. Well, we know right off the bat this is not the right answer because three oh five is equal to three oh five. Then we have three oh five is equal to three oh five. This is a true statement, but it doesn't compare. It says, which number sentence compares their numbers correctly? So we're looking for the number sentence that compares these two numbers. So even though that's a true statement, it's not what we're looking for. Now we have C, 350 is greater than 305. Yes, it is. So it's going to be C because we know that 350 is not smaller than 305. We start in the, the hundreds place, they both have a three, but then when we move over to the tens place, this has a five and this has a zero. A five is greater than a zero, so 350 is bigger than 305, so we're gonna circle that one. Dan chose B as his answer. This answer is wrong. How did, Dan, how did Dan get his answer? 
So he chose B. Well, B is a true statement, but it doesn't compare the two numbers that the question asks for. So B is a true statement, but it doesn't compare the two numbers that the question asked for. So I'm going to invite you to pause the video and write that down. Okay. Now make sure that you pause the video, write all the answers down. Tomorrow you'll be working on the independent practice by yourself. I will not be helping. The prompt at the top will have um, me reading the questions to you. So you can pause and, and play those. So I will read the questions to you, but you would have to do them on your own. Good luck, guys. I know you can do it.